まずは俺から本日の主催アサヒナです Welcome back to Making Lovers. We are at the mixer headed by Kakeru Kun. Time to see if we can get us a, get us a girl. Ah, yes, Kakeru has a girlfriend, even though he is heading up a mixer. What a playboy. Alright, let's let's meet the girls. Or Alright, let's meet the guys first, I guess. Okay, or girl. I'm at the mixer. We have three chicks and three dudes, including me. However, hmm. it's easier said than done, dude. Doste. Why are you here? So. There's a familiar face sipping a drink right in front of me, menacingly. What the hell, Kakiru Sensei? Why would you bring a familiar face to a mixer? You're making things awkward. College classmate is never honest with herself, Kitaoji Karen. まさか北大地さん。こいつと知り合いなの。お前だって。え、彼もそんな風に呼ぶ人初めて見た。二人ともどういう関係？元彼？元カノ？You wish. ジェンゲンてっぽい。やっぱこんなやつ知らない。She's actually my ex-girlfriend. Kitaoji and I went to college together. We both studied design in the art and design department, and we were both in the same club. Still, we were pretty much never met in private. We did have a handful of friendly chats here and there, but our relationship never developed any further than that. But as you can see, we know each other well enough to bicker like this. So, Kakiru, which of these girls did you say was totally my type? Yamado. That's what I'm saying. Are we compatible? The answer might not surprise you if you're paying any attention to our conversation. Oh, I was a fucking idiot for getting my hopes up. ねえねえ、かけるくんって今の彼女と結婚する気あるの？俺はあるけど、向こうはどうなんだろうね。この間それとなく話したらスルーされたけど。Gee, I wonder why. Hey, what's that? 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 What's not like that's anything new, though. Wonder if it gets annoying for him after a while. Looks like an Amotokun's throwing in the towel already. Poor guy. Excuse me. If you want, 
お飲み物のおかわりはいかがでしょうか See now, this girl's cute. I would definitely want to talk to her. Uh, one draft beer, please. Watashi Kashiso Renji! Sumimose, Oreni mo beer kudasai. Hi, Shosho, o match kudasai. Arigato. Wow, that uniform sure is something, huh? It's kind of piratey. Is that because this is a seafood restaurant? Oh, I wonder why. Yeah, but maybe, probably. Actually, now that I get a better look at the menu, they really play up the whole pirate theme here. Well, there you go. Shut up. Oi, lay off. It's no big deal. As long as they are not filled with silicone. I, l <laughs> I like big busts and I cannot lie. All men do. For me though, it's all about the shape. I'm not all that fixated on the size. Like I said, for me personally, I don't care as long as they're not implants. You can hate me for that if you want. That's my opinion, and I'm sticking to it. Huge t uh, bleh. huge boobs have huge boob appeal, and flat chests have flat chest appeal. That's what I say anyway. So, what have you been up to after college? Uh, how's work? So, Now that's a surprise. Didn't you always say you were going into design back in college? Ain't that the truth? Also, what the hell is going on out there? Uh, of course. While I'm recording, there has to be work on the f on the uh, trees across the street. Hopefully, you don't hear that. Uh, anyway. I'm a freelancer right now. I ended a job right out of college, but I quit in May. It was a web-focused company, but it raised too many red flags for my tastes. You would think that, but... It was, but once I was hired, I found there wasn't a single veteran there. Employee turnover rate was high, meaning bad management was a given, and they paid zero overtime. When they hired me, they said the monthly salary was 220,000 yen, but when I got my check, it was only 130,000. The remaining 90,000 was apparently a bonus I had to earn, or something. And that bonus would be given out by the company based on how much they valued my skill, or some such bullshit. Yeah, it really does. Good for him. Getting the hell out of there. My first month, I easily spent over 140 hours in overtime. I'd rather be unemployed than overworked to death, so I went with my gut and quit. Wait before you look back. That's my motto. If you truly believe something isn't right for you, be at work or whatever else, you need to learn, to, you need to learn the courage to call it quits. Don't let unnecessary emotions or other people's opinions sway you. Or you'll find yourself at your wit's end in no time. I don't regret it at all. Being a freelancer has been great for me. I can study more while searching for my next job. Mm. 
Probably. I'd march right into my boss's office, put down my two weeks notice, and say, Fuck you, buddy. It wasn't nearly 100 hours, it was 140. It's five hellish extra hours just about every day. Blaming what on me? You really have an attitude problem, you know. In any case, the, de uh, the decision to join that company and the decision to hightail it out of there were both all on me. They called me weak, they called me a quitter, they told me just to give it three years. But if there's one thing I'm in control of, it's my own life! Listening to you talk right now, aren't I? Who the hell asked you, Mr. I have a girlfriend and a mixer? Well, sorry for being selfish. If my only other option is to suppress my needs and make other people happy day in and day out. Then I'd rather become the most selfish son of a bitch on the entire planet. Well, the alcohol is definitely kicking in. Now I gotta take a leak. Oh, but I wasn't planning on staying here for much longer. Should I just hold it in until I get home? Um. Hmm. So this is the first choice, huh? I definitely don't remember this. I've actually seen. Uh, this, an entire route, and part of another one. Bosquara the Weebathon on YouTube. Um, yeah, I better go to the bathroom before I piss myself. Sorry, gotta go to the bathroom. Why does it matter to you? Yeah, bud. You'd get a slap for that if it was me. Why does drinking beer make you want to piss so much? Well, I mean... You kind of start to lose control of how much you drink the more drunk you get. Depending on how you handle yourself when you're intoxicated. But anyway. Maybe it's just the sheer volume of a typical beer mug. Oh yeah, that too. I actually haven't had beer out of a mug before. Only out of only out of cans, and I really do not like beer. Jesus, where is this bathroom? Shit, this is more serious than I thought. My bladder's gonna burst if I'm not careful. Mashiro Senpai, Bathroom! Where are you, bathroom? Oh, I'll go ask that waitress. Uh, sumi- sumimasen! Ano... Is this where the bathroom is? Oh, what did I just break? Um... W where's... the bathroom? I think I fucked up. The waitress freezes in place before me. Oh, it's that girl from before. Sumi said Or come in the side rather. Looks like something fell. Are you okay? You're not hurt, are you? Um Okay, this isn't good. No, it did not. There's a big bag by our feet. And something's clearly leaking out onto the floor beneath it. 
Well... Also, yes, it's it's been a few months since I saw this part for the first time, so I don't exactly remember it that well. That's why I'm reacting like this. Is that sake? Oh. Hold on, don't cry yet. It's clearly my fault anyway. Don't cry yet. I'm surprised I surprised you because I called out to you out of nowhere pretty loudly too. Ah, yes. Ah, very good. Waitress tells me the way while suppressing the urge to cry. Oh, she, she's, she's adorable. I don't know what's going to happen to her after this, but I'd feel awful for running away from this mess like it does, doesn't concern me. And she's fucked. Is she covering for me? I'm s Come in the side. It's my fault she dropped the bag. Bottle of sake must have shattered in that bag, and that's not gonna come out, I don't think. She texts the bag to see if anything else got wet. That glass looks hand handmade. Wow. It's probably a souvenir from a trip. But the silver lining is that at least there weren't any important documents there to get soaked. Yeah. That is very good. Yeah, you can't exactly replace those. Maybe. That's right. I know. Do you mind telling me which customer that bag belonged to? Because I'm going to be the one to apologize, apparently, because I'm the one that stepped on it. Maybe. I have to be a little assertive here and ask who this bag belongs to. I'm partly to blame here, and something tells me it'll make things a little easier on the girl if I take the blame instead of letting the restaurant take the blame. See, now that's... That's stepping up. Good man. I'm really, truly sorry about this. This, uh... Wouldn't have happened if I'd been more careful and less drunk. See now that all's well that ends well, I hope. Anyway, here's my contact information. And well, will this cover the cost of the broken sake bottle? I take out 20,000 yen. Oh, I sure hope that covers it. I have no idea how much the high class sake costs. Oh. Nice girlfriend, huh? Is 
such a relief that the bag's owner turned out to be so nice. Yeah, definitely. There were some snot... I almost said snotty snob. There were some snooty snob instead. We'd be in a huge fight right about now. Yeah, you're not kidding. Imagine if it was the fucking Yakuza. <laughs> ah. Well, we'd be... We'll be on our way. Sorry for interrupting your meal. Phew. That went well. Good thing she was nice. Ooh, what am I gonna get? He hands me four meal tickets. Nice! Whoa, 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 I, c I really can't just take these. Uh, I really appreciate the thought, but I can't. Well, if she says it's okay, then why not? Eh? Don't mind if I do. Like I said, this girl is adorable. Ah. <sighs> oh, I don't know. Maybe. Uh... Oh, oi! Don't just say that. How am I supposed to respond to that? If you insist... Well, looks like that wraps up that little incident. I got out of the whole ordeal without hurting my wallet, and I even got some meal tickets out of it. Honestly, that's a win-win for me. Sorry that took so long, a lot just happened. Yeah, you're not kidding. Yeah, what's your excuse? Yeah, 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 Karen, no need to cover your ass. I totally just forgot what I came here for. Yeah, I bet you did. Kakiru wanted me, or wanted to introduce me to a girl, and it turned out to be Kitaoji. I'm already mentally exhausted. I guess I'll just keep drinking and kill time tonight. Huh. Man, it's so hot. I'm drying my hair after a morning shower. I've decided to go home this evening and fulfill my... Uh... Filial piety. What is that? To my parents and my fraternal PD to my little sister. But before that, I'd like to pick out my next part time gig. Ooh, this job looks interesting. Fishing around on a job recruitment site. Detective's assistant. Wage starts at 1200 yen an hour. This site's amazing. They're even recruiting for security guards. Personally, I'm looking for work suited for recent graduates or people between jobs. I plan to do freelance work until April or May of next year. I'm not growing my savings much, but I'd like to take this time to recharge, learn some new skills, and gain some experience. My dream job is web design. It has been since college. 
I studied my ass off in college, only to end up in some sketchy company, but still. Working at a restaurant might not be too bad. The one we went to yesterday seemed to be recruiting too. Learning from my mistakes at my first and last full-time position, I've come to believe that no matter what your job may be, your ability to put yourself in other people's shoes is key. The company I was at until the start of May was basically an agency that took contracts from the apparel industry, but since the client and the contracted professionals are two different people, what makes or breaks the contractor is their ability to understand the needs of their client. I learned this the hard way. Which is why I'm forcing myself to freelance for a year and stick my nose into as many different industries as I can. Plus, I'm pretty fickle by nature. So when it comes, to t comes time to find full-time employment again, I want to find a company with the best possible conditions. Hi, you reached the antisocial version. No, I don't want to attend another mixer. Sorry about what? That actually turned out pretty well. I swear to god, my first route better not be Karin. Eh? Well, honestly, last night was kind of fun. It was a little weird having a familiar face around, but... I guess it wasn't all that bad. Uh-huh. You don't say. You never learn, do you? You're trying to finish off my pure virgin heart? Mature beauty, you say. Hmm. I don't care if she's mature, or youthful, or whatever else. I can't trust anything you say anymore. Yeah, you also say you care about your girlfriend, but you also went to a mixer while with said girl. Thankfully, not that the, not with her literally at that moment, but still. Who the hell goes to a mixer or anything like that with a girlfriend? I, whatever. Oddly enough, even though his tone of voice is the same as ever, Kakadu seems like he's brimming with confidence right now. Maybe it's because he's stalking, stalking his honor? No, staking his honor on it. There's no way I'm settling for a woman with a shitty personality, even if she's a beauty. I like modest, reserved, domestic girls who serve salad. What? Serve salads? What the hell does that have to do with anything? Anyway. Who the hell cares if she's flawless? If she's a, if she's a bitch, then forget it. In that case, I'll... Uh... Hmm. <sighs> if I remember what happened to initiate the route that I saw already... And I'm gonna pass on this one. I'll pass. I think I should have saved. Fuck. Actually, wait. Yeah. And before I do this again, we are gonna save and then choose. No, not load. Overwrite the save, yeah. Okay. Alright, let's go back. And now we're gonna pass. I'll pass. Ha! 
はあマジで言ってんのかお前今回は約束された超有料物件なんだぞスペシメン She's a girl, not a fossil, you idiot. I'm just not interested. Don't worry about it. I'm exhausted today. I guess last night's mixer took me too far out of my comfort zone. I hang up and put away my phone. I feel bad for doing this to Kakeru. I feel even worse for standing up the girl he wanted to introduce me to. I have I have a girl in mind already. And it more than likely wasn't gonna be the one that I that I want. There's a lot of people around here today too. I've noticed that Shionori City has been quite the happening place lately, at least in comparison to the other towns around us. Reclaiming more and more land from the sea. And there are even plans to open up Japan's first full blown casino here in a few. They don't have a casino? Okay, I did not know that. We've got a mall and a main street bustling with, a, with businesses, and even a vast 10 kilometer long beach. And with a viewing platform several stories high, attracting visitors from all over, the city's turning into one of the hottest destinations for shopping. Nightlife, dining, entertainment, and while drowning in it... Uh... Okay. But even still, you can still find your run-of-the-mill residential district on the other side of the station. And I'm hungry. Ugh, I'm so hungry. It's past 1 p.m. Planning on having dinner back home with the family today. Figured I'd kill time shopping or looking for new part-time work until then. So basically, I'm free all day today. It's not day. Uh, try looking for work at yesterday's restaurant. Yes! Guess I'll take a look at the restaurant from yesterday. Recruiting floor staff and the pay starts at over a thousand yen an hour, which is... Yeah, that's nice. Most of all, I love the uniform. It's another incentive to show up for work. I slip out from Main Street onto the coastal road, then head straight to the restaurant. Wow, looks exactly like a ship. Feels a lot different coming here during the day. Restaurant Leviathan. Service industry, huh? Got some convenience store and ramen shop experience, at least. Incidentally, I worked at the convenience store for two years and quit the ramen shop in half a year. I guess rather than quit, I should say the whole place went bankrupt. Yeah, that's that's completely different from quitting. And there she is. Oh? Isn't that the girl from yesterday? Yes, it is. Uh, scra scrubbing the crab statue, I'm guess guessing that's what that is. What's with the counting? Anyway, she's watching that crab statue quite diligently. The uniform's really cute, but it's such a tease how you can kind of almost see inside her skirt, but not really. Buddy, we're here for a job interview, not a... Well, you know. Hello? Eh, uh, do you have a minute? I'm back! Sorry for interrupting you during work. I saw online that this restaurant, the Leviathan, was it was recruiting floor staff. I didn't call ahead of time, but I was in the area, so I thought I'd stop by. Do you think you can contact the manager or someone for me? Uh, Sus why suspicious? Why suspicious? 
私もそうした。Oh, well. yeah, I think you're right. 人生、行き当たりばったり、well, not everything. 無計画に人生を浪費してる人 What is this? Is she bullying me? I swear to God, she, not be, she better not be a soon. Uh, don't you remember me? You know, that bag incident yesterday and everything that came after? There you go. The mixer guy. <laughs> Oh, I'm not here to be thanked or anything, though I'm glad you remembered. So, so de... I just told you how you could help me. I want to work here. I'm here to apply for a part time position. I show her the recruitment page, and why am I、uh, at this angle? Ooh, I can clearly see your cleavage at this thing. Yeah, that's what I thought.、Uh, let's see. Honey? Are I dying? Eh? Totem, Divine Sun, the Hataraq Shinjin, a Mazu, Kono, Kani, or Arao, Tokoro, Kara, Svete, the Hajimarimas. Really now? And with that, she hands me the, a brush and a sponge. Wait, what? You want me to wash it now?、Uh. Alright. <laughs> I have no idea why, but I end up washing a giant crab under the blazing sun in over 35 degree weather. 35 degrees, which I'm assuming is、uh, 90 degrees Fahrenheit, roughly. No one told me this restaurant had such a harsh employment exam. Sensei, I, I think I pretty much got it clean now. Dame! Damn it. Nani? Look at it, it's squeaky clean. I even polished its crotch and pincers. Pincers. <clears throat> If crabs had balls, this one would have the smoothest, shiniest balls ever. <laughs> Dame! Mada t a r i n a i Okay, what do you consider good enough then? Come on, you gotta be shitting me. It's a sentient crab, are you kidding me? The crab? Am I being hazed right now? Uh, is there any point in brushing the crab this much? Yeah. Makes sense. No matter how extreme it may be. So, then, you can't do it. 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 I admit, I admit defeat. Do with me as you please. Oh,、uh, eh? No, I'm not really angry or anything. Well, then, that was easy. Eh? Ah,、oh, yes, that, that also makes sense. Even though I've never worked a single job in my life, much less the service industry. Take a bowl of seafood soup to the face from an angry customer without flinching? God damn. So you. 
have to go to work knowing you could leave the establishment with third degree burns on your face if the soup isn't hot or if the soup is hot rather that's hardcore <laughs> wait if a customer tosses a bowl of soup at your face I think you've earned the right to lose your temper yeah no shit this girl's mindset when it comes to work is hardcore that's what that's exactly what I said <laughs> Okay, what are we doing? Uh, I know it's a little late to be saying this, but I'm not entirely sure I want to work here yet. Huh. As you wish, my dear. Uh, hi. Hi, 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 can we please drop the host thing? Okay. Hi. あそこの自販機はお酢とランダムでジュースが出る。at random. I don't think I've ever seen one like that before. It's not here anyway. It must be a Japan thing. Why would you load a vending machine with that, even though Japan's vending machines are full of everything? I've heard. Like, literally everything. So the Man, I'd like to get the interview stage already, but it doesn't look like that's happening anytime soon. That's right. Uh, Tomo. Looks like she's showing me around the place for some reason. Why? Is she a loser like me? That's unusual. Yes, I did. No, I did not. Uh, hello? Could you not pry into my private life like that? Ah, you remember me. Uh, hi. Sorry my clumsiness led to so much trouble last night. I should have talked with you first instead of apologizing directly to the customer. Ah, Oh, you got lucky. So her name's Tsukino, huh? She was so shaken by the incident, I kind of forcibly took charge without even thinking. In hindsight, it was kind of reckless of me. While it's great that everything went well, I definitely could have made things worse. Uh, no, I didn't. Sorry. I just came here today to ask a few things. After all, this restaurant's pretty big. When I made my orders, I was a little intrigued by the unusual system here. You were drinking yesterday, so I, we went with the all-you-can-drink option. But the other tables had a different ordering system. I've never worked at a big restaurant like this. So I thought I'd come and see for myself how things worked around here first. Okay. Even better. Huh? 
あらあら照れちゃってそれじゃあせっかくだしお願いしようかしらはい Alright And so this short haired girl takes me by the hand somewhat forcefully and shows me the ropes The work seems pretty fun in itself so I'm considering working here but What interests me more is this somewhat mysterious girl who's all smiles from beginning to end. 